for this blessed day. We're going to be reading a Torah reading this week. It's uh, Leviticus 25 and Leviticus 26. If we come to the end of the book of uh, Leviticus. Oh, let's see here. Let me just for reading to you, Father. Thank you, Father. Read to you 26 of Leviticus. This is actually the beginning of next week's Torah, but we'll go ahead and read it today. You shall not Make idols to yourselves, and you should not set up for yourselves uh, graving images. Leviticus 26. Or a memorial pillar, as you shall not place any stone image in your land to ba uh, bow yourselves to it. For I am Yah, your Elohim. You shall keep my Sabbaths and revere my sanctuary. I am Yah. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you the rains uh, of the season, of their season. And the land shall give her produce, and the tree of the field shall give its fruit. And your threshing shall reach to the vi uh, vintage, and the vintage shall reach to the uh, sowing time. And you shall eat your uh, bread to satisfaction and live in your land securely. And I will give peace in the land and you shall lie down and none shall terrify you. And I shall cause evil beasts to cease out of the land and the sword shall not pass over you, you into the land. And you shall pursue your enemies and they shall fall before you by the sword and five of you shall pursue a hundred and a hundred shall pursue a ten thousand and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword and i shall turn my face towards you and make you fruitful and multiply you and shall establish my covenant with you and you shall eat very old store and clear away old store because of the new and I will set my tabernacle in your midst. And my soul shall not loathe you. I shall walk always in your midst and shall be Elohim to you. And you shall be my people. I am Yah, your Elohim, who brought you out from the land of the Egyptians. From being their slaves. And I will break the bars of your yoke and cause you to stand erect and if you will not listen to me and do not do all these commandments and if you reject my statutes and your soul hates my judgments so as not to do all my commands to the breaking of my covenant i will also do this to you and i shall appoint terror over you the wasting and the burning fever destroying the eyes and consuming the soul and you shall sow your seed in vain, and your enemies will eat it. And I shall set my face against you, and you shall be smitten before your enemies. And those who hate you shall rule over you, and you shall flee. And there will be no one pursuing you. And if after these things you will not listen to me, then I will chasten you seven times more for your sin and i will break the pride of your strength and will make your heavens uh, as iron and your earth as bronze verse 20 and your strength shall be consumed in vain and your land shall not give her produce and the tree of the land shall not give its fruit and if you walk contrary to me and are not willing to listen to me then I will bring seven times more plagues on you according to your sins and send against you the beast of the field and shall be bereave you and I shall cut off 
your livestock and shall make you few so that your ways are desolate. And if you are not chastened by me, by these things, and shall walk contrary to me, then I also shall walk contrary to you and shall smite you, even I, seven times more for your sins. And I will bring a sword on you, executing the vintage of the covenant, and you shall gather to your cities, and I shall send my Palestines into your midst, and you shall be given into your hand of your enemy. Verse 26 we're up to. When I break you in the staff of bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven and shall give back your bread by weight, and you shall eat and shall not be satisfied. If you will not listen to me for this, for, for this, and shall walk contrary to me, then I also will walk contrary to you in fury, and I will chasten you and also uh, seven times for your sins. And you shall eat of the flesh of your sons, and you shall eat of the flesh of your daughters. And I shall destroy your high places and cut you down your altars and shall put your dead bodies on the carcass of your idols. And my soul shall loathe you, and I shall make your cities a waste, and shall make your sanctuaries desolate, and I shall not smite your sweet fragrances. I shall not smell your sweet fragrances, and I shall make the land desolate, and your enemies who are living in the land shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the nations and shall draw out the sword after you and your land shall become a waste and your city shall be a desolation. Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbath all the days of the desolation and you shall be in the land of your enemies. Then the land shall enjoy rest and shall enjoy its Sabbaths. It shall rest all the days of the dissolution and which it has not rested in your Sabbaths while you lived on it. And those who are left of you, I shall also bring faintness into their hearts and into the land of their enemies. And the sound of a driven leap shall chase, uh, chase them. And they shall flee as one flees from the sword, and they shall fall when no one pursues them. And they shall stumble upon one another as if it was before the sword when no one pursues. And you shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And you shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall devour you. And of those who are left of you, they shall melt away in your iniquity. In the lands of your enemies and also in the iniquities of their fathers, they shall dwindle away with them. And they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers in their trespass, which they have trans uh, trespassed against me and also that they have walked contrary to me, that I also have walked contrary to them, and that I have brought them into the land of their enemies, if the uncircumcised hearts are then humbled, and they are pleased to pay for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and I shall also remember my covenant with Abraham, and I shall remember the land for the land shall be forsaken uh, forsaken by them and i shall satisfy for it is uh, its sabbaths and the desolation without them and they shall satisfy for their iniquity because even because they have kicked against my judgments and their sons have lauded my statue verse 44 
And yet for all that time when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them, nor will I hate them, to consume them, to break my covenant with them, for I am Yah their Elohim. Then I shall remember for them the covenant of the first fathers, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sights of the nations, that I may be their Elohim. I am Yah. These are the statutes and the judgments and the laws which Yah has given between him and the sons of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. That is our reading for today. Thank you all for being here with us and reading with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all have a blessed day today. Yah be with you all. Thank you and shalom shalom.